what's up YouTube today we will be putting together a motorized bike kick this video will mostly be for beginners but I'm sure there will be tips and tricks that can help everyone out so stay tuned and enjoy. let's see what all we got here ordered the Zeta 80 engine kit from ZetaMotorsports.com See what all it came with. NT card, universal mount, clutch handle, clutch tool, throttle cable, clutch cable, high performance CDI, kill switch, throttle handles, gas line, exhaust pipe, spark plug tool, spark plug, chain tensioner, pickcock. Pineapple bushing, gas filter, 36T sprocket. Looks real small. Chain. Also came with a manual. I'm gonna check it out. Play it on. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I got this guy right here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you get your engine kit, first you want to take your motor apart. Now these, they come disassembled. But most of the ones that y'all order will come assembled. So, you want to take the head out, take the piston out. See, this is the reason right here. There's a whole lot of aluminum on top of on top of this piston. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but that would mess up the engine right there. That's what you want to look for. Make sure your engine clean. Okay, next. Just want to check out everything. Make sure you don't see no scrapes or something. Check out the transfer ports. Mine's look pretty good. Oh, that exhaust need to be cleaned up. Then you want to take this out. off. gotta realize man it's not about how fast you can ride by how long you can ride I'll find it in a little bit well, you want to take this intake off oh they know they glued this on the So now you want to check out all the ports and make sure they don't got no scrapes or you don't want to mess your piston rings up. Yeah, I got to clean up that. I got to clean up that intake and the exhaust. Got to clean up the intake. In that exhaust. Okay, so now I know I gotta clean up the exhaust and the intake. No, it's not. I don't want the piston rings to catch on it. On them, forgot what you call it, burrs. But yeah. Let's see. See, it got trash all under here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Basically, just want to get all the little trash out. By the way, these come with two gaskets. So I'm going to use one. only need one. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's one of the new improvements on the Zeta 80. I do not want to tear this gasket. Oh yeah. If you can't get like your your head gasket on, it's because these sit too too tight or too too close in. So you want to squeeze them just a little bit, and it'll come right off. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Sometimes they probably don't want to come on. So you just want to squeeze it just a little bit. I don't want to break it. Squeeze it or pull it apart. Either way, just work with it. Work with these screws. Don't try to force this down. Because you will just bend your head, your head gas. Just like that. Squeeze it or pull it apart easily. Don't don't try to rip it apart. You don't want to do that. There's something you don't want to do. 